So I wanted to talk a little bit about how to make a Pig Latin Python program. This is, you could argue, a transpositional cipher. Uh, it's not a very good one uh, because it's very obvious to know what is being said, but it's, it's a well-known example of transposing things, so you could use it to understand the idea. Uh, that being said, the actual programming of a Pig Latin program is a little complex for new programmers uh, if you're doing it right. Now, if you don't care about doing it right, sure, it can be done pretty easy, but if you want to do it properly, it is a little tricky. So first, let's talk about what Pig Latin is. So it's a language game. It's not related to Latin at all. It just sounds like a different language, sort of, kind of. If you use really big words, it doesn't really sound that much like a different language. So it's not it's not really very uncommon, or at least it didn't used to be. I'm not sure if kids really play with it anymore, but they did when I was a kid, uh, which wasn't that long ago. You could hear kids speaking in it or trying to speak in it to talk with their friends uh, and keep people who didn't know it or who didn't know it yet to not be able to understand what they're saying. It's sort of like a code, but uh, most people know it, and if they don't know it, they'll probably eventually know it. So, how to pig Latin? Or at the top we have Awe, Ote, Igpe, Adenle, which is how to pig Latin in pig Latin. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's just a few basic rules. So the first rule is that if a word starts with a constant sound, we take all the constant sounds up to the first vowel and we move it to the end of the word and add A, which is what you see up top. So pretty simple. So some examples. Here's pig. You take the P and you move it to the end, and then you add A, and thus pig becomes igpe. And we've got this cute little pig in a bucket over there that I thought I should share with you guys. Uh, other examples, urnle, igpe, atnle, language lay, which you can start to hear. It doesn't really quite sound like a different language when you have long words. Utubye, and k. So, the words can start to be fairly easy to distinguish if they are longer words. I specifically said it earlier that you move all consonants up to the first vowel to the end. So, like, so science would be ayin say, and fruit would be ut fray, and phone would be own fay, chair would be air che. One of the pretty popular examples is trash would be ashtray, where it actually becomes a different word in the English language. There's not very many words in Pig Latin that become other words, uh, but that is one commonly known example. So if a word starts with the vowel, we still do something, but we don't move any letters. We just add way to the end of it. So elephant would become elephant way. We just had way on the end. There's no actual transpositioning going on. Other examples, R would become our way, is would become is way, Eat, eat way, orange way, and a, another example of a word in Pig Latin becoming a different English word, a would become a way. If we want to look at a full sentence, our way, ako's day, delicious day, erthe is way, on a out day. Our talk was delicious, there is no doubt. I notice that in these examples, I have words that start with consonants, words that start with vowels, and even a word that starts with two consonants, so that way to show examples of all three of the previous conditions that I mentioned. So explaining a human how to do it is pretty easy because we can talk about words and moving things and all this stuff, but how do we teach a computer to do it? For each word in the sentence, we're going to use some sort of loop here, probably. Check if the first letter is a vowel or a consonant. So start for each word, check for a vowel. If it's a vowel, move to the end of the word and add way. If it's a consonant, store the letter and move to the next letter, because we need to keep checking until it gets to the first consonant and then do stuff, right? So now we have start for each word, check for vowel. If it is a vowel, we're going to move to the end of the word, and we're going to add way to the end, and then we're going to move on to the next word. But if it's not, 
we're going to store the character and then we're going to move on to the next character and check for vowel again we're going to keep doing that until it is a yes now the issue here is if we've stored characters and then we have a vowel we're not adding way anymore so before we add way actually we need to check and find out do we have any stored characters so if a vowel move to the end of the word if we have stored characters add stored characters then add a if we don't have any stored characters then add way instead so it's gonna look something a little bit more like this for each word check for vowel if no move to the next character and keep looking for vowels store and move and store and move and so on once we hit a vowel we're gonna to move to the end of that word we're gonna check stored character if it's false if there's nothing in there we're gonna add way to the end and then move to the next word but if there is stuff we're gonna add all the stored characters to the end add a then to the the end of that and then move to the next word we're gonna keep doing that until we get to the end of the sentence right so once we have reached the end of the string then we're gonna print the result and that should be the end and Pig Latin isn't the only language games there are other language games including in English like Abby Dobby but there are also language games in other languages like the spoon language the ghost language the fig language and the birds language just to name a few there are others out there as well so in the next video we'll use our algorithm to actually try to program pig language but uh, if you've liked that then you could try out even making programs to create other language games from other languages whether that be in English or whether if you actually know a different language that would be possibilities and a way to extend it and see if you really understood the concept. Of course that might require a little research on your part because you might have to learn how to play those other language games, but that's fine.